Hey guys, hope you are doing very well today, even if the market is crashing, but you know there is an accepted sentiment out there. For one hand, we can celebrate that El Salvador made Bitcoin a legal tender. On another hand, that uh, people getting fearful uh, uh, because this crash, but you know, don't panic sell. Uh, actually buying the dip uh, with scaling up is the best solution. But yeah, so you know, nothing in this video can be considered as a financial and investment. Otherwise, everything just for uh, education and entertainment purposes only. I am Mike Denkler from CoreionX, and our goal to bringing cryptocurrency to the mainstream and educating the market and using CoreionX for uh, this purpose. So let's share my screen and let's check our favorite bubble chat and also some fresh news some breaking news what's happening out there so you see that most of the market is crashing the crash started during the daytime of uh, the us trading and uh, yeah most of the altcoins are in 15 20 percent minus just few like solana near and maybe uh, ftm is up so also bitcoin uh, went up 10 percent and Ethereum a little bit more, and there was a huge dip. Uh, <clears throat> the candle stick was really uh, deep, and then now a little bit consolidating. And so this is not a usual what you can see on the market, but uh, as the crypto is in is small in general compared to other asset classes, so that can happen uh, with huge whales manipulating the market. Let's check what the crypto fear and greed index is doing. So it's uh, at 78. So maybe they are just updating uh, in every, I don't know, maybe every eight hours. So it will be updated in the next three hours. So we'll see how the sentiment changed in this fear and greed index. So I, I don't think that a, a huge correction is due uh, because there was a so long, more than three months fear a zone that Bitcoin spent here. So I think rather that uh, we might can see the market uh, just manipulated by whales and maybe other entities. And I will talk about this later. Let's check the sun's hope. Manipulated by yes, the hope the sun is working well. So let's fo go forward and see uh, the latest news. Bitcoin price plunges below uh, 43,000 US dollar in minutes in crypto market rope. Uh, An 8,000 daily loss leaves the market shaking its head uh, on one of the most volatile days in Bitcoin since the China miner out. So you see this huge candle and it gave out uh, all the gains that Bitcoin did in the past few days. Wales blamed for major BTC sell-off. And yes, so also Michael Fond and Popper highlighted that 48,500 as the point of no return should it fail to stick as support. After that, he said 44,000 US dollar could be next. So we reached that. Also, trader and analyst Scott Merkel, known as the Wolf of All Street, blamed large volume traders. Uh, leave it to Wales to dump Bitcoin and the day that El Salvador makes it legal tender, he said. Real volume on the selling as well. So this is the short news. And let's get what we have with El Salvador. So El Salvador is the first adoption of Bitcoin hits snacks. So El Salvador is the first country who is adopting Bitcoin. And El Salvador starts mass buying Bitcoin ahead of BTC becoming legal tender tomorrow. So they purchased 400 Bitcoins yesterday. So here in the article, we have 200, but later they purchased uh, more 200 more. And Salvadorian government has started buying Bitcoin ahead of a uh, low taking effect. The first 200 coins have been purchased and a lot more are coming, said President Nayib Bukele. So they are ready with the ETMs and also uh, they will um, they will airdrop uh, to all, uh, every citizen's 30 US dollar worth of Bitcoin. So that's huge. 
So this is the first country. So I think you should go and celebrate because this is a history. So El Salvador writing a history because this is the first country uh, making Bitcoin a legal tender. But we have some uh, <laughs> turnaround and uh, the making things uh, a little bit catchy for them. But uh, yeah, so don't worry. El Salvador just bought 400 Bitcoin and plans to buy a lot more a day before making it an official currency. So also we have this news that they purchased 400 Bitcoin yesterday. So now they have almost more than 10% loss on this. But let's go to check my Twitter. I share a few um, news here. This is from Larry Cermak that more than 2.6% billion worth of positions liquidated in the last hour most on bybit as usual 1.1 billion in bitcoin and 700 million in ethereum so amount of positions liquidated on exchanges you see bybit leading then who will be binance and this is why because the newbies who are following other youtubers and they are rushing in for getting the bonus and they are over leveraging without any professional knowledge on Bybit, then they are washed out from the market. So they were liquidated and it's sad because then uh, uh, they were get, they get, they got wrecked because learning the lesson. But this is how if uh, you want to learn, you should come and learn and not starting with huge over leveraging. Uh, just uh, you, should, you should learn everything before that, another chart showing that also liquidation on Bybit leading the way and uh, almost all, uh, most of the longs were liquidated on Bybit. Okay, and yeah, so we have some posts that uh, purchasing uh, uh, McDonald's uh, and paying with Bitcoin in El Salvador and we have also this from Edward Snowden that today Bitcoin was formally recognized as legal tender in the first country. Beyond the headlines, there is no pressure on competing nations to acquire, acquire Bitcoin, even if only as a reserve asset, as its design massively incentivized early adoption. Latecomers may regret hesitating. And guys, now we have some news. You know that uh, El Salvador was blamed by IMF, World Bank, the US government, the EU, and other opposition parties that uh, they are making Bitcoin a legal tender. And uh, yet, if he, he succeeds with his ambitious Bitcoin project, uh, he will raise up the entire population of El Salvador. Imagine wanting these people to suffer more. So hope that they will succeed. And now we had this news from Nayib Bukele that he's tweeting and also it appears the discount is ending. Thanks for the deep IMF news. We saved a million in printed paper. El Salvador now holds 50, uh, 550 Bitcoin. Bitcoin Day, BTC, and they added so they added 150 new coins uh, buying the dip. So I think that's huge as a president of a country uh, tweeting that they are buying the dip. So, okay, so the crypto guys, Bitcoiners uh, used to uh, tweeting this, but not a president. So it's totally new age. And this is how the monetary policy in the digital age uh, with the most scarce asset with Bitcoin happening. So this is the first attempt uh, to write this new era monetary policy. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> it's nothing wrong with this if uh, IMF and World Bank uh, <clears throat> don't like it because uh, they used to use the old uh, fashion and uh, the existing uh, financial system and race, but this is something different. So guys, don't worry, uh, this is happening in real time. So this is like uh, you are going to the cinema. And yeah, and our next piece of news is that there is this uh, event today. Thousands of people plan to buy 
for the US dollar or Bitcoin to celebrate El Salvador. People from all over the world are planning on buying 30 Bitcoin worth of uh, 30 US dollar worth of Bitcoin to celebrate El Salvador making it legal tender. So it started on Reddit. So definitely join, even if um, uh, it's too late now, but join this event and buy 30 US dollar Bitcoin to show <coughs> the appreciation what El Salvador did uh, and also how Bitcoin will help helping them. Our next piece of news that German Asset Manager Union Investment Six BTC, BTC exposure for several funds. German funds and, and asset managers are expanding their horizons on crypto investments now that the nation has more favorable lo laws governing special funds. So just for remember <clears throat> that in Germany, these special funds can purchase crypto and hold crypto assets, uh, maximum their 20% of their total asset, assets under management. So uh, Union Investments, uh, a 500 billion asset manager is planning to add Bitcoin uh, to several investment funds as part of a targeted pilot program for its institutional clients. So not to every client, but for institutional clients offering compelling evidence that the crypto is becoming more mainstream in Europe's largest economy. <clears throat> so that's huge. And we admire how Germany is uh, making crypto uh, adoption, uh, pushing, uh, pushing forward and how helping also funds, investors uh, getting uh, exposure in crypto. So I think this is uh, something that other European Union nations should follow. Our next piece of news is that a 1 billion US dollar now locked up in Ethereum layer 2 scaling solutions. So layer 1s are the smart contracts like Ethereum, ADA, Solana and others. And Ethereum layer 2 is like Polygon, Matic, Arbitrum <coughs> and, uh, and what else, uh, Loopring. And all these ones, uh, these are helping uh, <clears throat> making Ethereum more cheaper and faster, so it's more usable. And also, uh, the total value locked reached one billion, so that's huge. I think this is also good for Ethereum and to the supportive uh, layer two solutions like Matic, Polygon, and uh, yeah. So this this is a really really. Good news, but the market <laughs> doesn't care for now because this manipulation. ETH 2.0 contract exceeds for a 7.4 million ether, close to 30 billion logged. Liquidity staking pools grow. So, guys, we got the news. We got the news that we got news every week that uh, the logged amount in Ethereum 2.0 staking is increasing so nears 30 million and this is huge we don't have any chart here uh, yes oh, we have a chart but i cannot make it bigger okay so you see that this is the uh, staking pool and how fast is increasing the liquid staking balance so that's a huge news and what does that mean 25% uh, of total ethereum is logged in DeFi in uh, other DeFi smart contracts and then that is why ethereum becoming <coughs> becoming uh, or will uh, reach a supply shock where the demand is higher than the supply uh, out of the, on, on the exchanges so even ethereum dropped to 3000 uh, today i think that ethereum has a bright future now the gas prices shoot it up but after that uh, Hope we cool down. Our other Ethereum related news that more Ethereum has been burned than minted in the past 24 hours. What does that mean? Ethereum became deflationary. So more tokens has been <coughs> token has been burned than minted. EIP 1559 was supposed to bring deflationary pressure to the network. It's working. 
the code change that allowed transaction fees to be burned that placed deflation, deflationary pressure on Ethereum. The pressure has had raised the price of Ethereum. Now it's corrected because this uh, today panic, uh, panic sell and uh, uh, market crash. But uh, we will see that in the long term that uh, uh, as Ethereum is deflationary, then we will see less and less coins and that will lead to this supply shock, uh, what I mentioned. Solana shoots 20% to 175 and even higher, almost reached 200 US dollar, but also corrected now. As total value locked, TVL hits 5.75 billion US dollar on Solana. So almost 6 billion US dollar locked in, uh, in Solana DeFi. And that's huge. And also we know that Solana price has surged by five times or a, a staggering 400% uh, percent return. Solana TV reaches this 6 uh, billion US dollar. And uh, the top five DeFi projects on the Solana blockchain are Saber, Radium, Sunny, Serum, and Sol Farm. So that are the most uh, used DeFi uh, platforms, I think. Not a financial advice, but I think this drop is a good opportunity to uh, staking sets in these DeFi, uh, Solana DeFi projects. And also as Solana run, uh, run up uh, so high that uh, I think it's better to piling in in Solana, eco Solana ecosystem projects like this DeFi. And also there was a news yesterday that from NFTs, money investors are moving to uh, DeFi. So definitely you should check out DeFi on Solana. Our next piece of news is, yes, yeah, Solana hits all time high as coin rises further. Yeah, okay, but it's not it's not too important because the previous news was about that. But this news, Visa plans to bring cryptocurrency services to traditional banks in Brazil. So Visa also using Ethereum, USDC, and also <coughs> will uh, provide NFTs to the clients. But now Visa, the multinational payment giant, has announced it is planning to bring cryptocurrency services to traditional banking platforms in Brazil. The company also announced that it is working with several cryptocurrency companies in the country to bring cryptocurrency payment cards to the market and hinted at a possible direct integration of Bitcoin in payments. So that will be huge. B2B developments, direct Bitcoin payments, NFTs, Visa gears up for crypto integration in Brazil. So this is a huge what Visa is doing. So he's not just uh, he's not just providing Visa card for crypto uh, exchanges and crypto payment uh, companies, but he itself uh, or itself Visa providing crypto investments to the clients, allowing them using crypto for payments and also providing crypto payment cards and all this infrastructure to banks. So these banks will use Visa's infrastructure and also offering services to the millions of clients and integrating Bitcoin payments, that will be huge, and also NFTs. So guys, definitely uh, keep your eyes on Visa, PayPal, and also the big financial players. Remember NFTs, they are back big time. So this is Mike Novogratz and uh, uh, <clears throat> they are making these uh, things on CNBC. So uh, they are jumping back. Sports will make NFTs broadly accessible, quote. Our next piece of news is SEC and Ripple case, SEC, gains access to Ripple's Slack email conversation. The regulator has succeeded in its demands after Ripple's initial refusal last month. The SEC has been granted access to Ripple's internal Slack messages and email correspondence. This outcome could cost Ripple as much as 1 million, maybe in fine. Uh, the decision is part of the SEC ongoing case against Ripple and its uh, alleged, alleged 
alleged, I don't know how to uh, pronounce this, alleged unregistered XRP token sales. Okay. So that's it for today about the news. And now let's go and check the charts. What's going on? Please smash the like, push the bell, notification all, and subscribe on the channel to get this uh, daily crypto news every day. So this is what's happened today. This is the daily uh, candle. You see now we are here at seven at uh, 47,000 US dollar, but the candle went uh, and touched the 22,500. This is on Bybit and you see uh, this huge volume. And if we are looking into the four hourly, you see the same. And what about uh, the, in the 15 minutes? So within half an hour, within half an hour happened this huge bump and with huge volume. So check the previous volume with huge volume. And if you are looking at other exchanges like Bitstamp, also the volume is huge. And the candle just came down almost uh, 43,000. So this is manipulated. And I, I don't I don't deal with any, um, any theory that's going out there. But uh, yes, yeah, so I think that uh, maybe other countries or, or some peoples or some groups, maybe IMF, but not sure, uh, <clears throat> doesn't like what El Salvador did. And they wanted to uh, make a warning also to other uh, Latin American countries that guys, uh, El Salvador did this and then they failed because the Bitcoin price dropped and then, 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 then. So I don't think that this is the case. So I think El Salvador will make momentum and also uh, they will succeed with this Bitcoin adoption and they will earn more benefits with this than other countries. But this is uh, um, this is a momentum or this is a, a, some a historical event what's happened here. So we will remember and we will save it for the future. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, the market crashed almost 20% because this. But yes, maybe IMF, maybe other countries, maybe some... Uh, big whales or maybe I don't know has this power to do this but um, I, I I don't think this is a natural thing uh, because uh, as you see why Bitcoin reached almost uh, 33,000 in the morning why so if the market is bullish investors are uh, are uh, bullish then why the market did so so this is manipulated so definitely it happened in the us uh, open hours and the daily hours so think what you want to think but uh, I, I think uh, maybe what naim bukele tweeted here that maybe it's something um, something here that thanks for the deep imf <laughs> okay also you, you can thank uh, thank uh, this for <laughs> imf if you want <laughs> Okay, guys, let's check Ethereum. Ethereum also just fall down here, uh, but now it's lining up on our support. So lining up on our support. And yeah, so that was a huge drop uh, in, in Ethereum. But you see, we started here almost a week ago, almost a week ago. So yeah, so nothing wrong with it. Maybe this is a... a higher low after this a higher low that we can mark here so we'll see how it will go further but there was a nice run up to 40,000 2 two days ago or three days ago but uh, yeah so definitely it was not a good but uh i think this is a sale this is a spurgen price if you can buy ethereum as cheap as 3000 us dollar and there were some exchanges that the price dip below uh, 3,000. So on Coinbase, there was a premium. Almost Bitcoin, Ethereum was more expensive than on other exchanges. You see that uh, on other on few exchanges, the, the price dipped also below. So as you see, most of uh, the altcoins are in red. So definitely, I think it's a good bargain. Uh, but uh, you should be careful. Maybe this... Uh, 
maybe this dump will continue, uh, but uh, I don't think that uh, we are in the bear market. So definitely uh, it can be a manipulation because this El Salvador thing, and uh, maybe they want to continue this, but uh, I think the market will respond differently. And also there was a long squeeze, so there was a, a little bit over leverage on Bybit and on other exchanges. And then uh, also that was one of the cause uh, why it happened. So guys, uh, our favorite Solana, let's check what Solana is doing. So Solana is up. And as you see, Solana did this dip, so went back to 131. So if you were lucky to buy up Solana here, that congratulations. Yes, congratulations, but now we are back. So we we'll see if the Solana rally will continue, but I am more confident in Solana ecosystem coins. So uh, Core Unix is quite okay. Uh, so we are small coins, so not attach this uh, huge manipulation things. Uh, and also we are doing well, uh, preparing for some partnerships and also uh, we are working on to add more uh, coins and, and pools on our farm. So definitely you should uh, take a look uh, in the next few weeks. And also uh, I, I think this APR, this 330, and also what we have on, on the Binance Smart Chain, this uh, 230 and uh, 420 percentage, uh, that a nice profit to uh, lock, provide liquidity. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. Please smash the like, push the bell, notification all, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.